Best of luck in finding that little stamp. In the meantime, here's more news in brief. Presented by SL Info, the community in Second Life. French art in Second Life. The artiest place in SL at the moment is Troy Island, where French artist Oub Yifu is presenting his beautiful 3D sculptures, which are recreations of the work of popular artists such as Matisse, Picasso, and Dali. The exhibition is housed in an outdoor gallery and is definitely worth a visit. German Postal Service Award Show. The German Postal Service recently rounded off their sculpture contest with a big dose of creativity and a fabulous award show. The champagne flowed as the 10 most favorite masterpieces were given their awards. The chosen sculptures are now on display in the Postal Service's gallery and can also be sent as real postcards in real life. Largest Tower in Second Life Last Saturday, the largest building in Second Life celebrated its official inauguration. Located on the island Tarnatopia, this 800-meter-high tower is now open to visitors. The tower includes more than 5,500 prims and is surrounded by extravagant sculptures and remarkable art. See if you can make it up to the top without getting sick. Relaxing in Second Life It's time to breathe deeply, relax and recover from every day in Second Life. The Lost Garden of Apollo is our recommendation for this week. In this stunning natural environment, you can take a leisurely walk around and enjoy the true beauty of the sim and its architecture. Apollo obviously knew what was good for him, and SL avatars would benefit to follow his lead. Happy Independence Day to all of our viewers from the United States. Yes, we hope everyone celebrated with lots of fireworks. And what do you know, Second Life recently had some fireworks as well, courtesy of magician Tuna Oddfellow. After winning 10,000 Linden dollars in NBC's America's Got Talent competition, Tuna can probably now call himself the world's richest magician, too. We sent our reporter, Marmaduke Mertel, to Tuna's magic castle to get the scoop on this mysterious guy. What does it take to be the most talented avatar in Second Life? American broadcaster NBC thinks they know. Last month, they conducted a grid-wide search for the best talent as a promotion for America's Got Talent, a popular show in the U.S. Tuna Oddfellow's Grand Illusion performance combines elements of humor, mystery, and the macabre. But in hosting an Independence Day celebration at his castle, he added a bit of extra light and noise. Tuna has been collecting, commissioning, and creating his magic effects in SL for about two years now. While he's honed his skills as part of his event planning business, he credits his transferable skills for his win on NBC. I'm a stage magician in my first life, and I can tell you, it's hard to wow a crowd here. After all, in the second life, the first thing they learn how to do is fly. How do you catch real attention here? Anyone can throw up a particle effect, but it takes showmanship and humor to turn it into entertainment. As Matthew, Fish the Magish Fishman, Tuna's been enchanting crowds all across America. He'll be featured at the Second Life Community Convention in Chicago, Illinois next month. I don't know that I'm the most talented avatar in Second Life, but First Life or Second Life, I've got a mission to bring a little magic into everyone's day. NBC congratulated Tuna live on the air last week. The show was watched by 13 million. Whether or not Tuna is the most talented guy in Second Life, this certainly makes him the most famous avatar. So, if I start working on my tricks right away, I might beat this odd Tuna fellow at next year's competition. I have talent beyond this reporter's gig. For Life For You News, this is Marmaduke Martel, signing off and signing up for Magic School. As we all know, Second Life is and has always been a major platform for innovation. And seeing as the erotic industry is a major part of the multimedia world, it's only fitting that Beata Usa TV would now join the virtual scene of SL. Beata Usa is the first sim to have a complete staff devoted entirely to their SL presence. 
Our reporter, Rube Rabiani, was there and has some insights for us on the SL site of the huge German erotic company. I've noticed you around. Hey, Rube Rabiani here, reporting from the Beata Usa TV sim, located on View Var Art. Would you go to bed with me? I'm here at the second ever Beata Usa TV photo award ceremony on the main platform of the sim. Take a look at the beautiful pictures that got top marks. The island has lots of sights and sounds to experience. The company has set up an exhibition platform, a dance area, and even guided tours of the island for every visitor. I met up with the manager, Pia Pia Poplin, and she showed me around all the beautiful sights. We started at one of the three towers, all of which have multimedia spots, where you can get more information about the company and its founder, as well as news about all the new releases. After that, we went to the highly popular Love Nest where I had the chance to try some of the romantic positions myself. You, um... After this hot experience, I definitely needed a cold shower. So Pia Pia showed me the pool area, where I was able to cool off a bit. Finally, we decided to go jet skiing. There's so much to see up here. After that, I met the owner of the company, Cisco Vanderveer, for an interview to learn more about their presence in SL. First of all, Mr. Vanderveer, tell me something about your work in Second Life. We've been in the game since April this year. And seeing as the erotic industry is often the first to explore new grounds, we decided to take part in the virtual world as a way to tap new sales markets and, of course, to experiment with the new media. How's the traffic on your island? We've had lots of events going on over the past couple of weeks, and they were all very well attended. Our average number of visitors is around 80 to 130 avatars a day. Our employees are working six days a week from 4 p.m. to midnight Greenwich Mean Time with Sundays off. Actually, our Beata Usa TV club group has about 350 members, and a lot of them are regular customers of ours who stop by periodically. Can you explain the concept of The Sim in a little more detail? Sure. The concept is actually inspired by the 1970s with all its high-class erotic entertainment. You know, away from the dirty image. It's kind of uh, like a Saint-Tropez, Gunter Sachs kind of attitude. What is this evening's event about? Every four weeks, we have a photography competition where visitors and friends take part by uploading their favorite pictures and letting the other viewers vote on them. Tonight, we're having the award presentation. We have a live DJ set going from 1 to 3 p.m. L.A. time. Do you have any final words for our audience? Sure. Our innovative events have made us a trendsetter, and we're looking forward to continuing the good work. And to all of the viewers, please check out our love nests. Couples really love these nests, and they're very popular in general. Plus, the third photo competition is actually going on right now. So, feel free to come by and take part yourself. Thank you, Mr. Vanderveer. I wish you all the best for the future. I went on to check out some more things until evening finally arrived and the island invited everybody to enjoy the work of DJ Inns Boda at the club platform on the left side of the island. They had some real hot music and a really good looking laser show. I actually stayed there until the next morning, dancing into the sunset. My dear viewers, once again, this has been Rube Rabiani from the Beata Usa TV Sim. Hey Chris! I had myself a great time this week. I hope you did as well as me. I doubt it, Rube. This has been life for you for this week. Please check out our website and mail us your questions and comments. See you all next week. And until then, here's wishing you all a, a great, great second, second life. life. For information, comments, and suggestions, visit our website, www.lifeforyou.tv.